Is that a cop out? Have you ever seen me wear a flannel shirt? I wish I could pull it off. Bridget's gone for a classy vibe. Gonna look interesting on me. But I do feel about six years old in this. I can imagine seeing this on Instagram and thinking it looks amazing. They are well chunky. <laughs> Why do I look like a 40 year old Sally who's about to pick the kids up from school? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm all here for a claw clip right now, but I mean, looking in the viewfinder is like looking into my future. Anyway guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I've been wanting to do this one for a while. It was just a case of me procrastinating and never getting around to it, but finally, we made it, woohoo! So I've asked five of my friends and family to choose me an outfit. I did say from ASOS, some went off course. Wanted to make it easy for myself, my friends and fam said no. <laughs> so, I asked them to put me together outfits, I didn't give them any occasion, whatever they wanted, whether it was in my comfort zone, out of my comfort zone, and I'm gonna show you guys the five outfits and you guys are gonna decide the winner. The winner receives absolutely nothing. So to the friends and family who took part, if you're watching this waiting for your prize, sorry, your prize is pride. Right, without further ado, let's crack on with it. I'm going to show you each outfit, what it looks like on, and I want you guys to comment down below who you think your winner is. So the five victims I chose to take part in this video are my mum, my dad, and three of my best friends, Leanne, Freddie, and Becca. Now, Leanne, Freddie, and Becca all have very different styles, so I kind of knew that they were a good mix. But anyway, I'm going to start off with what my mum and dad chose, and then we're going to move on to my friends. Here we go, outfit number one is Bridget, my mum. We have one main item for my mum's outfit. She picked out this, oh, okay. She said a little bit of brown, she's trendy. It's got a lovely neckline, I'm a big fan of a sweetheart neckline. It's ribbed, it's knitted, and it's a midi dress. So, all in all, we're off to a good start because this is actually something I would wear. Clearly she's not pushed me out of my comfort zone too much. However, she has styled it differently to how I would style this dress. So I personally would put this probably with Doc Martens, leather jacket, wear it very casually. She's gone for the more dressy approach. So she also picked out a little necklace for me. So it's a little gold choker and it's got tiny little pearls on it. I actually really rate that. Kind of wish it was silver so it goes with this necklace. She's also instructed me to wear clear heels with this dress and also to hold my little Louis bag. So Bridget's gone for a classy vibe. Let's have a little look at what outfit number one from my mum looks like on. This is mum's outfit all together. I actually really like this dress. It is so comfortable because it's ribbed as well. It's a really soft material. It's like stretchy. It's a big win for me, but I do kind of wish I'd sized down in it. I got a 10 and I think an eight would have been a bit more flattering. Just like these little parts here, like it's quite baggy in some areas. Obviously got my bag with it and a pair of clear heels. Here's a close up of the necklace. I'm actually so excited to put this with other outfits. I think it's so dainty. Alrighty then, moving on to outfit number two. Next up we have my dad. This was the one I was most interested to see what it would pick. I gave my mum and dad both a little briefing beforehand. I said to them at dinner, I wanna all sit down this evening. I want you to pick me some outfits online and I'm gonna order them. My dad came back 10 minutes later, phone in hand, saying I picked this and he just showed me a picture of an outfit. So, is that a cop out? He didn't exactly style the outfit, but I mean, what can we expect? Boohoo definitely helped Dave out a lot with this one. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit confused with this. This is definitely not what my dad chose or have I just picked the wrong item. So the picture he showed me was this one, right? From the Boohoo website, light blue, pinafore dungaree type looking thing not my usual style dungarees do not suit me but we can clearly see from this picture light blue denim in real life black okay boohoo also got a nasty girl label on it and i've just taken it out of the boohoo bag so that's a little bit awkward but it is the same sort of style so we're gonna run with that i actually prefer the black to the light blue denim so i'm not too mad about it but how weird boohoo nasty girl same warehouse apparently that's suspicious that's weird. And he also said I've got to wear it with a long sleeve white top underneath. I just got a really basic one from ASOS. It's high neck. It's from Collusion. Although I do feel a bit like I'm going to look five years old in this outfit. But he's also instructed me to wear it with white trainers, hoop earrings and a crossbody bag. So that's outfit number two. Let's have a look at what it looks like on. Not exactly what we planned. You can blame Boohoo for that one, my friends. Sorry to let you down. So here we have my dad's outfit. 
I don't hate it quite as much as I thought I would. Quite being the main word, I still don't like it. Well, at least I wouldn't choose it for myself, but I'm actually glad the black one arrived rather than the light blue. Don't tell anyone though. <laughs> also, the white high neck top for this outfit was not going over my head, so I've got this one on instead. This is coming up later on in the video, so you'll see it then. Just got my plain black bag from the Coupals because he wanted a crossbody bag. Also, just got my white Air Forces on. It's okay, but I do feel about six years old in this. The thing I do love is the back of this pinafore. Let me take the bag off to show you properly. I think the back of it is so cute. Outfit number three. We're moving on to my friends now. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with my best mate, Leanne. She picked this outfit out with her sister and her sister has a very indie, grungy kind of vibe. So that's what Leanne's gone for. Gonna look interesting on me. Can I also say that everyone, apart from one person in this video, chose shoes that I already own. Is that a cop out? Do we deduct points for that? Only one person actually picked a pair of shoes but anyway moving on outfit number three is Leanne this is definitely the darkest outfit of all five so first of all we've got this little top from skinny dip this is Jade's collection from Little Mix and it says you okay hun just high neck ribbed looks quite small and she also picked out a pair of black denim mum jeans they were 15 pounds and i kid you not i had exactly the same pair almost arrived from zara the week before for 3.99 so i said look i'm not gonna waste my money on another pair of shorts i'll use those ones is that okay she said yes then we have a flannel shirt have you ever seen me wear a flannel shirt? They just don't suit me. I feel like they're too busy for my body. I really wish I could pull them off. I feel like only cool people get away with flannel shirts and I'm not one of those people. But it looks like it's cropped. Don't know how much I rate that. I kind of wish it was full length, and like very oversized. We'll give it our best shot. Then she's gone for some accessories. So first up, we have a pair of sunnies. I'm all here for a pair of sunnies. I love sunglasses. This is what they look like. She said, suddenly, I'm not 40 year old Sally. I'm a 17 year old tiktoker and i earn more money than you ever will i wish my friends and she picked out a bag and i really like this i don't have anything like this it's very basic i feel like i'll go with a lot of outfits it's a little plain black bag very small but it fits your essentials in you can wear it over your neck if you want <laughs> nice and simple i like it so that is outfit numero three let's put it together and see if i feel like jade from little mix i can only hope leanne's outfit i am not cool enough for this I'm really not. I feel so out of my comfort zone right now. I wish I could pull it off, but I'm looking in the mirror thinking, Han, you look like an absolute wannabe, but I wish it looked cool. Got my boots on as well. I've never worn these boots with shorts and I don't think I would, to be honest. It feels a bit out of proportion. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. But I do really like the sunnies in the bag. I like the accessories from this outfit. I'm defo not an indie kind of gal, am I? I'm just not. Outfit number four comes from one of my best mates, Freddie. I'm gonna throw it out there. Fred thinks he has done absolute bits with this outfit. When he picked it out, he was like, I'm gonna win. I've got to win. 100% I'm gonna win with this outfit. So let's see if his outfit is as strong as he thinks. So Fred also wants me to wear my DMs with this outfit. Again, a little bit of a shoe cheat, but I'll look past it. So the first item is a pair of beige shorts these are like suit style shorts so they feel like posh material they've got pockets they're elasticated generally speaking i like them they're not really my style i probably wouldn't have picked these out for myself but fingers crossed they're gonna look all right on the next item we have from fred is the matching cropped blazer i can imagine seeing this on instagram and thinking it looks amazing especially with the dms like very cool instagram vibes is it practical though if you're rocking up to a meeting in a cropped blazer are they going to take you seriously that's a question i want to know fred has also picked out some massive chunky gold hoops the last item that fred picked out is a bag and i have mixed feelings on this i like it on somebody else it's one of those items that again i'm just not cool enough for very similar vibes to the bag leanne chose it's small it's short it's one of those trendy instagram bags that's not actually that practical but it feels nice quality so i'll give him that on instagram lovely outfit in person is it gonna look the same i wish i could pull this off i truly do because i actually really like it 
I just think, one, you've got to know how to stand at all times in this outfit. Like, you can't be slouching. You can't be walking down the street like this. It just don't look right. You've got to pose all the time. So maybe it's an Instagram outfit, but not a practical. You know those TikToks where it's like how I think I look versus how I actually look? Mine would be how I think I look versus how I actually look. <laughs> you definitely have to stand right and I've got the posture for it. But the bag, I love. For a little two-piece, if you're a cool person, love it. The earrings though. How do people wear such big hoops? They feel so heavy on my ears. Okay, and the fifth and final outfit comes from one of my other best mates, Becca. She's gone for a more casual vibe, but Becca is the only person who picked out a pair of shoes. So are we adding points for that? Let me know. The first item Becca's picked for me, I really like this. So it's a little high neck ribbed jumper. It's got balloon sleeves. This is actually from River Island. I would say this is quite me. Wear it with a lot of different outfits. So far, so good. Then Becca has picked out a skirt for me. I'm not a skirt kind of person, but I'll give it my best shot. So we've got a little checked skirt. It's got a little split up the leg. Feels really nice quality. I personally don't really wear check, like I've said, with a flannel shirt. But saying that, I do like it. It's a nice little skirt and it is gonna look very classy with that jumper. The shoes Becca picked out are some big boy boots. Look at these heifers. They are well chunky. This is a very Becca outfit. The girl lives in chunky boots. And she said she wore an outfit practically identical to this on Christmas day. That's a big outfit, Christmas day vibes. So that is the fifth and final outfit. Let's put it on and see who our winner is. I have a few things to say about this outfit. Christmas day, absolutely not, because you should have seen me trying to get this skirt on. Can barely fit my body in it, let alone a Christmas dinner, so it would just not work for me. I am 1000% a size 10 in this skirt. There is no stretch in it. I'm surprised that this slit hasn't come up even higher and I'm also surprised the zip didn't burst <laughs> because it is way too small. I cannot breathe right now. But the top I really like it, got a bit of foundation on it, but it's fine, it'll come out in the wash. And I do think this is gonna look nice with a lot of my other outfits. Also, the boots are surprisingly comfy. They're definitely not my usual style. In fact, none of this outfit is, other than the top, but I would probably pair this with like an oversized blazer, a pair of jeans. I'd style it very differently. I'm just not a skirt person. I wish I was, but I don't really like having my legs out too much, to be honest. I've always been a little bit insecure about them. I can imagine how how this would look on Becca and it is so her style and it would look amazing but yeah let me know what you think it feels very wholesome on the top and very not wholesome on the bottom so yeah I would say it's like a 50% win on this one I've just realized I've got the task of getting the skirt off now and there we have it five outfits chosen by my friends and family which one did you guys like the best I'll be so interested to see in the comments down below I know that all five of these people are going to be checking the comments to see if they've won we want a clear winner please for no reason really other than nothing else to do in lockdown is there might as well do this but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos i upload weekly vlogs every sunday morning and i've got a video coming for you this sunday that i'm really pleased with i think you're gonna like it but for now thanks for watching i hope you're having a lovely week and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love you